My work deals with the largest size of a partition that is both S core and T core and answers a conjecture of Aukerman, Kane, and Z. Let's look at a partition and let's look at a graphical representation of it. Consider, for instance, the cell outlined there and look at the hook generated by that cell. The length of that hook, which is 7 in this case, is called its hook number. The partition is called T core precisely when T doesn't divide any of the hook numbers. The structure number of a partition are the hook numbers of the first column. They are given that name because from the set of structure numbers you can deduce the partition itself by this formula. In particular, the size of the partition, which represents the total number of dots in here, is given by the difference of the sum of the numbers in the structure number set and this expression. Now, let's look at the equivalent problem that has to do with sets S of positive integers with the property ST given by equation star. By that I mean take the set S such that whenever n is in S, then both n minus S and n minus T are in S. It's useful to define the set gamma complement of S T to be the set of positive integers that are not expressible by the form Sx plus Ty. Now, it's well known that the number of elements in gamma complement is given by this equation and that the sum of numbers in gamma complement by this expression. We first show that for any set S with property ST, we must have that S is a subset of gamma complement and that S will be equal to gamma complement precisely when ST minus S minus T is an S. The original problem then becomes equivalent to showing that the sum of numbers in any such set S with property ST is given by this upper bound which is achieved precisely for sets S which are equal to gamma complement. To prove this inequality, we first show the case of equality that when S is gamma complement, we have this equality by using the expressions for the size of gamma complement and the sum of numbers in it. Then, to show this inequality for any S, we simply remove from gamma complements the numbers that come in so as to get S and show that results in a decrease here on the left by a quantity that is more than the decrease on the right. That completes the proof. Thank you.